Hi, I'm Chaplain Sean Bishop, your narrator for this special redesignation video. On behalf of the Commander, Space Operations Command, Lieutenant General Stephen Whiting, welcome to the inactivation of the 45th Operations Group and the 45th Mission Support Group. You will also witness history in the making as the 45th Space Wing is redesignated as Space Launch Delta 45, commanded by Brigadier General Stephen G. Purdy, Jr. The events you will witness today celebrate another great milestone as we begin a new chapter in United States Space Force history. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for joining us for this historic event. And now some words from the Commander, Space Operations Command, Lieutenant General Whiting. Sharks of the 45th Space Wing, thank you for the chance to be a part of today's ceremony, even if circumstances require that the event is virtual. It's not without irony that much of the virtual capability we've embraced over the past year depends on the very space-based assets launched into orbit by your unit and your people whom we celebrate today. I am proud of the guardians and airmen of today's 45th Space Wing and the tens of thousands of your predecessors who for decades have worked tirelessly to earn the wing's preferred motto as the world's premier gateway to space. Well, today we're marking yet another milestone in the storied history of this base and this mission set. And I think we'll be posturing the 45th to keep using that moniker for many decades to come. Nearly a century ago, a French novelist and magazine editor named Jean-Baptiste Carr coined a phrase we still hear used frequently today. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Now Carr had a bit of satire in mind when he coined that phrase, but I think a more sincere and authentic application of his famous quote applies well here. The more change the 45th has experienced over the years, the more you have maintained that same outstanding level of mission accomplishment. And it's a remarkable level of accomplishment for sure, even as we've changed enough for an entire lifetime just in the past 16 months. Just think of all the massive changes which have brought us a new branch of the armed forces, the United States Space Force. It's almost unfathomable. Yet, as part of those massive changes, the 45th Space Wing was first out of the gate within the U.S. Space Force to rename Patrick Air Force Base to Patrick Space Force Base and the Cape to Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Yet exceptional execution of your gateway to space mission endured. Today, the 45th Space Wing will be redesignated as a Delta. We'll fold the flags of the 45th Operations Group and the 45th Mission Support Group while the wing itself will become Space Launch Delta 45. Let that sink in for a minute. Your unit will assume the name of a United States Space Force unit, a Delta, even while retaining your proud numeric designator as a link to your history. Yet I know that even though this represents a significant change in the structure of this venerable unit, its core function of space access and sustainment reflecting one of the U.S. Space Force's seven space power disciplines will remain. And its record of outstanding mission execution, decades in the making and including nearly 4,000 space launches will endure. And today's ceremony won't mark the end of the change for the 45th. In the coming months, members of Space Launch Delta 45 and your teammates at Vandenberg in Space Launch Delta 30 will swap one field command patch for another removing Space Operations Command from your uniforms and replacing it with Space Systems Command. It's not the first massive change in numbered Air Force or Major Command or Field Command level alignment the 45th has made. And who knows, it might not even be the last given what's transpired over the decades. But what we do know is that no matter the patch you wear on your left shoulder, your outstanding mission accomplishment will endure. The more things change, the more they stay the same indeed. With the 45th's rich gateway to space history as a backdrop, there will be many more firsts and many more examples of excellent mission accomplishment to advance the interests of the United States and our allies in the space domain. More things will change, that's inevitable, but the more they change, the more outstanding you will be. I am sure of it. Thank you again for the chance to join you as part of this historic event. Best of luck under your new structure, Sharks. I look forward to seeing more superb mission execution from this extraordinary team. 
Go for launch and Semper Supra. We will now pay tribute to the legacy of the 45th Space Wing. Today we reflect on the legacy of the 45th Space Wing. On November 12th, 1991, the 45th Space Wing was activated and Brigadier General Jimmy R. Morrell took command of the Eastern Range. The range includes Patrick Space Force Base and Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, and it extends 10,000 miles from the Florida coastline through the South Atlantic. The 45th Space Wing has supported nearly 800 launches since 1991, many providing significant contributions to America's military and civilian space programs. Notable NASA space exploration missions involve the Shuttle Mir program, International Space Station, interplanetary probes like Galileo and New Horizons, and numerous Mars missions such as Pathfinder and Perseverance. Significant Department of Defense developments include the rollout of GPS Block 3, constellations of weather, communications, and surveillance satellites, and the X-37 orbital test vehicle, all used to support American military forces worldwide. The Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle Program improved U.S. access to space and enhanced national security measures with the introduction of Delta IV and Atlas V launch vehicles. The recent advent of commercial space activity resulted in the wing supporting both launch and landings for the first time. The commercial crew program launched astronauts from American soil last year after a nine-year hiatus. In December 2019, the 45th Space Wing became a part of the United States Space Force, a brand new branch of the U.S. Armed Forces. The wing has remained at the forefront of America's space activities and the world's premier gateway to space. Names may change, technology advances, and methods evolve, but the core mission and dedication to excellence remain the same. Looking back to 1991, the activation of the 45th Space Wing was accompanied by an Air Force Organizational Excellence Award for supporting Operation Desert Storm with global positioning technology and the shipment of 450 Patriot missiles to our frontline forces. The Wing took its numerical designation from the 45th Bombardment Group, which protected our Atlantic coastlines during World War II. During the 1991 ceremony, Lieutenant General Thomas S. Mormon Jr. compared the Bombardment Group to the Space Wing by pointing out both units were born of organizational change and both had to learn by doing. That discipline and innovation will carry on with this new transition. Today we are excited to write the next chapter in the history of this command. Today marks the end of the 45th Operations Group and the 45th Mission Support Group and a long and proud history of service to the 45th Space Wing. As units are inactivated, it is a military custom to furl and encase the flag of the organization when the unit's mission has been completed. This serves as a final symbolic act for all those past and present who have served in these organizations. The guidons are respectfully retired, honoring the unit's historic contributions to our nation's defense. Once the groups are inactivated, the squadrons will be officially realigned under Space Launch Delta 45. The units to be realigned are Detachment 1, Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Detachment 2, Ascension Island, Detachment 3, the 45th Force Support Squadron, the 45th Space Communications Squadron, the 45th Security Forces Squadron, the 45th Civil Engineer Squadron, the 1st Range Operations Squadron, the 5th Space Launch Squadron, the 45th Logistics Readiness Squadron, the 45th Contracting Squadron, and the 45th Weather Squadron. These units have served the operations and mission support groups and the 45th Space Wing well. They will now continue their mission under Space Launch Delta 45. We will now inactivate the 45th Operations Group and the 45th Mission Support Group. By order of the Secretary of the Air Force, the 45th Operations Group and the 45th Mission Support Group, 45th Space Wing, Patrick Space Force Base, are hereby inactivated.
Chief Baz Knight and I stand here on Launch Pad 3 where the historic Bumper 8 mission launched on July 24, 1950. While it may not look grandiose, this site marks the beginning of the 3,737 launch and landing operations our space professionals have supported over seven decades, all contributing to Cape Canaveral Space Force Station as the world's premier gateway to space. As we inactivate the 45th Operations Group, Chief and I, as the final command team of the 45th Operations Group, thank all the past and present command teams and members of the squadrons and detachments that consisted of the group, including those previously inactivated during organization realignments over the nearly 30 years of the wing's existence. The final operations group family tree links the mission's successes of the organizations of the past with those of the present. We celebrate those of the past, the launch group, the 1st Space Launch Squadron, the 3rd Space Launch Squadron, the 45th Launch Support Squadron, the 45th Operations Support Squadron, the 45th Range Management Squadron, and DET-1 at Antigua, with the 45th Operation Group units of today that will continue their excellence as units of Space Launch Delta 45. We are all part of an amazing legacy and lineage that serves as a reminder of our nation's excellence in Space Launch and Test Range mission success. Sir, I relinquish command. It has been my honor and privilege to be the commander of the Mission Support Group at Patrick Space Force Base. The 45th Space Wing and the 45th Mission Support Group was built on a foundation of over 1,200 professionals supporting the mission and providing global agile combat support anywhere and anytime it was needed. The 45th Civil Engineering Squadron, 45th Security Forces Squadron, 45th Logistics Readiness Squadron, 45th Force Support Squadron, 45th Contracting Squadron, Detachment 1 Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and Detachment 2 Ascension Island Auxiliary Airfield will continue to be the foundation for the new Space Launch Delta 45 and its mission partners. Who you want to be? SLD! Sir, I relinquish command. The 45th Space Wing will now be redesignated. By order of the Secretary of the Air Force, the 45th Space Wing, Patrick Space Force Base, is hereby redesignated Space Launch Delta 45. As the Delta's guidon is unveiled, a new chapter begins for the 45th. It will start its new distinguished service to the United States Space Force. It is with great excitement and anticipation that we now present for the first time the official emblem of Space Launch Delta 45. Midnight blue and silver gray of the Delta represent the edge of Earth's atmosphere and outer space, the organization's primary mission area of operations. In the lower center of the Delta, a large globe represents the Earth. A smaller globe symbolizes the Moon and other planets, and they also symbolize space travel. The border distinguishing the transition from sky to space and the globes were adopted from previous emblems and honor the history of Space Launch Delta 45 as a test center for missiles and space vehicles from which the first humans traveled to and landed on the moon. The small Delta's flight path is red 
to indicate the stresses of launch during spaceflight. The path is left to right to represent prograde departure routes of launch vehicles on the Eastern Range. The number 45 proudly signifies the organization's number and the prominent gold border represents the foundation and structure the United States Space Force provides to Space Launch Delta 45. To General Whiting, Colonel Shoemaker, Colonel Marshall, Chaplain Bishop, and Mr. Draper, thank you for taking part in today's ceremony. General Whiting, thank you for your leadership and mentorship these past few months. It has been an honor to serve as the Wing Commander of the 45th, and it will be a privilege to serve as the Delta Commander of Space Launch Delta 45. There is no better place to mark this next Space Force milestone than right here on the Eastern Range, where we sent the first Americans into space put the first man on the moon, launched so many of our national security satellites, and conducted the first commercial space mission. No place is steeped in a richer space history, nor is there one that continues to bring us to the edge of innovation and beyond. Last year, we became the nation's first Space Force base and Space Force station, proving that Space Launch Delta 45 is leading the way. While there are many challenging unknowns that will come with standing up this Delta, there are a far greater number of exciting possibilities as we continue to explore the complex and dynamic environment of space. After all, maybe your purpose on this planet isn't on this planet. I encourage you to lean forward as we step into this new chapter. The future is where we will make history. And Chief King and I are looking forward to continuing that proud history as the world's premier gateway to space. There is truly no better place to take the next giant leap where those first small steps began. Chief and I couldn't be more proud of this team and everything you've accomplished. Together, we will forge a new path, write our own legacy, and together, we will set the pace for space. <laughs>